Hi guys, as I'm starting today, we are looking at respiration. So first of all, we just have to clear it up because it's a common misconception that respiration is just breathing in and out. It's not actually that. In fact, it is the process of releasing energy from the breakdown of glucose. And this happens in every cell in your body. It also happens in every living thing, including plants. So respiration happens all the time, but today we'll be particularly looking at when you do exercise. Now, the first, the most um, efficient way of respiration is aerobic respiration. Now, aerobic respiration is respiration using uh, oxygen. Um, it, happen it goes on all the time in both plants and animals. And most of the reactions in aerobic res respiration happens inside the mitochondria, which helps release energy. Um, and the word equation, which is very important and you do have to learn, is glucose plus oxygen. Uh, and this goes to carbon dioxide and water and plus energy. Now, sometimes you can put the plus energy in brackets because it's um, well, it's not it's not it's a large amount of energy, but it, it's just how some people do put it. Now, if you remember and you have watched a, a photosynthesis um, a video I made, which I would highly recommend you do. Um, it is simply just the opposite way around. Photosynthesis is carbon dioxide plus water turns to glucose plus oxygen, right? And respiration releases energy for all kinds of things. So it's like to build up larger molecules from smaller ones. It allows the muscles to contract. Um, it's used to keep energy in the um, body temperature steady. Um, and in plants, it builds sugars and nitrates and other nutrients, and these are built into proteins. Now, exercise is um, also one thing where respiration is, is very common. Now, the other type, I went on about aerobic respiration earlier. There is also anaerobic respiration. So anaerobic respiration doesn't use oxygen. And this is where you may be having going on a long run and you, your body has used all the oxygen. So instead, what happens is the glucose is used to produce energy, which is a very small amount. In fact, it's about it's, it's around 18 times smaller than aerobic re respiration, but it produces energy and lactic acid. Now, if you may think if all the glucose has been used up, then glycogen is actually uh, glucose is stored as glycogen and it's mainly stored in the liver. But each muscle does have some glycogen in it. Um, and then during a very intense exercise, the muscles uh, use glucose uh, to m make glycogen into uh, glucose, and this will provide more energy. So um, it's not, but however, anaerobic respiration isn't the best way to convert glucose into energy because lactic acid actually builds up in the muscles, which just get painful. Um, it can cause muscle fatigue, and it, it, as I said before, it doesn't release nearly as much energy. Um, however, it does mean that you can keep on using your muscles for longer. But at the end, when you have finished exercise and you have had to resort to anaerobic respiration because you have used all this oxygen, they, you, it will lead to an oxygen debt. Now, when you stop, uh, this is what happens when you stop exercising. And it is a way that you have to repay um, the oxygen, which didn't get to your muscles in time. So when you're relaxing, um, you have to... You, you would get all this oxygen inside so that you can feel normal again. Um, and so this is basically the way that you can stay alive after you do exercising. Otherwise, you would have to uh, survive without oxygen, as we know is impossible. So thank you for watching. And please uh, visit my website, the link's below, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and bye.